guys, Sarah here. Welcome to this week's edition of Colorful Classroom Read Alouds. I'm so excited to bring you another picture book this week. This one I've had for a couple months and it's quickly become one of my favorite picture books. I'll probably say that about all the books that I share with you, so bear with me. Uh, this book is called Strictly No Elephants. It's a wonderful story about friendship and acceptance. So there's a little boy who has an elephant for a pet um, and he talks about how having an elephant as a pet means you don't quite fit in with everybody else. So he's so excited to take his elephant to pet club, but when they get there, there's a sign on the door that says strictly no elephants, and he's not allowed into the pet club. As he's walking home with his elephant, he runs into another little girl who has a skunk for a pet and realizes that she wasn't allowed into the pet club either. So together, the two of them decide to form their own group together, their own club together, and accept anyone in. They can bring any pet that they want um, and they're allowed to come into the club. It's such a cute story about how he helps his elephant out when his elephant is scared to do things and how his elephant helps him out when he's um, worried or he's upset. So I highly recommend adding this to your library um, or adding it as a read aloud in your classroom for any age. Um, my four-year-old daughter loves it, but it also can be used um, in the higher grades and could have great conversations with it. So I highly recommend this book. If you are looking for other picture books, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. I have a free list of over 180 picture books um, that you can download and take with you to the library um, as recommendations for books to read aloud in your classroom. So definitely go download that um, if you're looking for books for your classroom. And I hope you'll join me next Tuesday as we read another colorful classroom of the colorful classroom read aloud of the week. Thanks.